Search for electric unicycles and you will find countless videos of numerous types of EUCs on the market. It's indeed come a long way from the 13 mile per hour electric wheels. However, out of the long list of branded and unbranded EUCs out there, few can ignore the Gotway MSX, short for M Super X. The M Super X is named so for good reason. The name alone gives it away, and it's all about performance. From the very first M Super V3S Plus, the MSX, and now the soon to be released MSX Pro, very few will disagree that the looks of this beast is lacking and leaves EUC lovers wanting more. But there is a saying in the auto industry, if it's not broken, why fix it? And in my opinion, I hold true to this sentiment as well. Let's start with the design of the MSX going back all the way to the M Super V3S. With its boxy but rounded design, its big tire, wide pedals, headlight, back brake light and very very cumbersome trolley handle, the original MSX was striking to say the least. One look at this machine and you knew it meant business. Performance was the absolute goal of the M Super's designers. This makes sense because ergonomically speaking, the wheel stood perfectly balanced between the rider's legs, allowing for optimal maneuverability and agility. With a square body, round edges, they were even able to fit a seat, big batteries to supply the much needed power for what was considered at the time a powerful motor, allowing it to push upwards of 30 miles per hour. Again, let's keep this in retrospect. At the time of the M Super's debut, there were very few wheels which came close to its absolute performance when you consider speed, maneuverability, range, off-roading capability, stability, and most importantly, excitement. Just take a look at the videos from Chooch, for example, and you can't help but feel immersed in the ride. Even today, many years later, where EUCs can push well beyond 30 miles per hour, the original M Super V3S Plus still gives us the chills, excitement, and rush for speed. As stated earlier, if it's not broken, why fix it? Many of us have probably read the many comments regarding the design of the MSX being ugly, passe, cumbersome in the case of the trolley handle, for example. But these EUC offenders tend to forget one thing. When comparing a Gotway machine to other eye-catchingly beautifully designed EUCs on the market, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot ignore the end goal and vision of any Gotway machine. The purpose is performance. The goal is performance. The means is performance. There hasn't been another EUC manufacturer since the original M Super V3S Plus from Gotway who has been able to galvanize on the needs of the small percentage of us EUC riders who desire more speed, more range, reliability, and all out absolute performance. The boxy design of the MSX clearly doesn't take away from what the designers intended, so why fix it? Which leads me to discuss the all new MSX Pro yet another iteration of the already highly sought after, successful, heavily modified EUC. The only EUC type on the market where riders of that caliber seek to push way past the limits of the manufacturers, sometimes to devastating outcomes, the infamous cutouts. But since when has that ever stopped a Gotway EUC rider? So with all that said, what can we expect from the MSX Pro? Well, two things caught my attention right away, which I've been ignoring subtly on the original MSX, and that is the front light. The MSX was fitted with a single front light resembling that of a one-eyed monster. Literally, no love there for the front, but I was willing to give it a pass since everything else was just unbelievably tantalizing. Without me even asking, others did of course, Gotway presented us with a beautiful solution, a double front headlight design. Ooh, so beautiful. Finally, the MSX has some character, some finesse and beauty, something to lust after. I feel all this time the MSX was missing one thing, to just push it over into the segment of beautiful and visibly desirable. And at least some of us will agree, it's, well, gorgeous. Gotway, in short, humanized the MSX, and I love it. 
As for the rest of the body, Gawe remained true to the why fix it if it's not broken principle. The body is the same, the pedals are visibly the same except black, trolley is the same, perhaps a bit stronger. They've also heard the cries of users and added a lift switch, which stops the wheel from spinning when lifted. Backlights look the same, but this time with blue LEDs instead of the green ones fitted on the current MSX. But let's get into some of the real specs, which is why you all came here in the first place. For a full breakdown of the MSX Pro specs, go to keyb.com, that's K-E-B-Y-E.com, and you'll be able to see everything listed in order. But for now, I'm only interested in a few things. The first, the cruising speed. 20 kilometers per hour is the safe cruising speed. Uh, the cruising range is between 70 to 160 kilometers. And it says here 70 kilometer rider at 20 kilometers per hour. So guys, it's important to mention that uh, regarding range, um, it's based primarily on the spec sheet. So don't go based on your feelings. Just look at the spec sheet and see what the range is based on that. Uh, max climbing is 20 degrees in real test 90 kilogram rider. Uh, the motor size is 2500 watt motor. Battery is between 900 watt hours to 1800 watt hours. We see that it'll be 100 volt. Now the no load speed is 80 kilometers per hour. This is according to the spec sheet. Um, now, as we know that the 84 volt no load is about 45 miles per hour. So this I believe is around 50 miles per hour. And finally, the main board overheat alarm. So the main board temperature is around 80 degrees Celsius, urgent beeps from the wheel, foot rest starts lifting backwards. All right. So now that we've been through the specs, what do I expect? Let's face it guys, the MSX is already an amazing machine and is at the pinnacle of the EUC power and potential. No other manufacturer even comes close to what it's able to deliver. However, with that said, I have a few expectations. Now I've stated in previous videos that I would love to see a 60 mile per hour wheel, not because I want to ride at 60 miles per hour, but to know that I could. The thought being, if I have a 60 mile per hour wheel, I can then set the tilt back or limit alert to about 50 miles per hour and safely cruise at a high speed with no concern for cutouts. With that said, the mere mention of a 2500 watt motor puts this close to the realm of possibility and here's why. The MSX 100 volt has a 2000 watt motor, so does the 84 volt. If you haven't already seen it, I was able to push the 84 volt MSX to 40 miles per hour top speed. And remember, that's the 84 volt we're talking about here. But therein lies the problem. Although I reached 40 miles per hour, I wasn't able to cruise at 40 miles per hour without my alerts going crazy, constantly telling me to slow down. Of course, I could go ahead and turn off the alerts, but then I risk saying hello to the pavement. The 2500 watt motor means the wheel should be able to sustain a high power output efficiently without burning out wires, MOSFETs, and other electronics since the surrounding components must also be upgraded to accommodate such power output. So let's do a test here real quick. The spec sheet of the MSX Pro says the no load speed is rated to about 80 kilometers per hour. That's 49.7 miles per hour, right? So let's say 50 miles per hour. Well, my MSX 84 volt under no load free wheel spin is about 72 kilometers per hour. That's 45 miles per hour. Now, we know based on my test that the 84 volt can reach speeds of 40 miles per hour. So if we do a little assessment here and say 45 miles per hour minus five miles per hour equals 40 miles per hour with that logic, 50 miles per hour minus 5 miles per hour equals 45 miles per hour, roughly. But wait, wait, hold on. My wheel is a 2000 watt motor, 84 volt low output wheel. The MSX Pro is akin to a 100 volt MSX, but with a bigger 2500 watt motor. Some 100 volt owners have allegedly pushed their wheel upwards of 48 miles per hour. So with that assessment, are we looking at a possible 50 to 55 mile per hour wheel here? I don't know, but my guess would be yes, which would make sense, which is why they also increased the battery size to 1800 watt hours. 
In the words of V, a fellow EUC YouTuber, she was totally right for saying, to her, the MSX Pro is like a Nikola Plus in the shell of an MSX. Anyway, these are all the speculations, on my part of course, but it doesn't hurt to guess. So the MSX Pro will be powered by an 1800 watt hour battery, although that does not compare to the 2000 plus watt hour battery modifications done by some EUC math scientists, the upgrade will give riders like me peace of mind regarding battery management safety since it's directly from Gateway. As is obvious, the form factor of the MSX Pro won't change. Apart from what we can see on the images on Gotway's website, there doesn't seem to be much changes to the form other than the lift switch and the double T6 headlights. This is very good news because in my initial impression of the Nikola Plus, I stated that the wheel is unmatched in speed and acceleration, but the major drawback was how thick and tall the Nikola Plus was. These two combinations of wideness and tallness plus the weight was not a really good combination for both beginners and even advanced riders trying to maneuver in heavy traffic for example or around obstacles at high speeds. Also hard braking at high speeds roughly 35 to 38 miles per hour can cause major wobbles which would result in a crash to the uninitiated. So as we see, the wheel is equipped with two powerful 24 volt T6 headlights. So if I'm correct, the T6 headlights are used in camping, biking, etc, etc. So hopefully these lights will be evidently brighter than the original. I definitely expect a more robust board with some redundancies and more cooling since you can imagine such a powerful wheel is expected to turn out a lot of heat if you plan on pushing the limits, aka Marty Blake. This goes without saying, but the shell looks exactly the same and won't change from the original MSX. Again, this is a very good thing, because while a lot of owners of the original MSX might not agree on how beautiful it is, most will agree that this wheel has the best agility and maneuverability of any performance EUC on the market, period. Will I get it? Well, let's just say I plan on. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and pay attention to other YouTubers out there for the MSX Pro.